The program's revolving around revegetation in river systems um, and learning conservation skills in, in the river systems in the Hunter Valley. We want to bring back the culture and the um, and the riparian area on our river systems to clean the clean the river system up, so we can reconnect the country and bring everything back for our team and show the team the diversity of what uh, what our country can give. If you uh, you look after the land, the land's going to look after you. And by you know protecting our our culture, protecting the river systems, we're cleaning that up. The the land will give back to us. In terms of the planet, it's, it's a pretty straightforward one. So we're revegetating the place and we're fixing country. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty key role for Indigenous people to learn those skills and then reconnect the country through rehabilitating the, the landscape. People talk about not wanting to get a hand out. They would, people want a hand up. So essentially it's about giving those people an education so they can help themselves in their own communities. It really gives the Soil Conservation Service a meaningful connection and a way to connect to country and to connect to those Indigenous communities. I joined the program very early September in 2019. Yeah, we've just been like full steam ahead since. It's been really, really enjoyable. And I'd been looking to get into environmental work for, for a while. One of the sites we've got cave paintings not even 10, 10 metres behind. And I don't know, just getting to be around those sort of cultural areas is really rewarding for me. Um, one of the projects, there's a fella who, who owns a property out there and he's lived there for 40 years doing the bush regeneration just in his own time because he wants to. I just think I'm sort of picking up on his passion a little bit there as well. And I've learnt so much about the environment. Um, it's just sparked a fire in me where I've um, even been connected again with culture. So um, it has a cultural component entwined into it. So I've been lucky enough to you know, pick up pieces that I've lost um, of my culture as well as you know, learned land management skills and just reconnect with our Mother Earth. My growth personally has just elevated a lot since obtaining this position and yeah, I'm very grateful. I suppose the, the most rewarding thing um, I would take out of the program so far is the, the team itself. Um, firstly, we're like a family um, and I've made some lifelong friends and not only do you get to care for, for country, but doing it with such a, a brilliant supportive team, I'd say would be my highlight, is the connection. You know, the future's looking very bright, um, and all thanks to this traineeship, um, I believe like I'm gonna be a part of something great, and not only within SoilCon, but as well as um, contributing to the community as well. I'd like to stay with SoilCon, but there's so many other opportunities that we're we're lucky uh, we get sort of insider information on, you know, oh, this is available and that's available, where if we weren't within this program, we might not have made so many connections and, yeah, lots of people are presenting us with lots of different options, which is really cool, so. Got a few things planned for the future. Yeah, eventually work my way up into some leadership roles and eventually get my own little team of, of trainees as well, get them involved and passionate about the, about the environment.